purple. purple. It's very purple rain, darling. No, it's a lovely shade on you, darling. I forgot Why, what the inappropriate you. joke is. Booby. Oh, booby. Booby. People send me shit all the time. You know why? Because you know, you're because you're sober and sexy. Dad jokes. That's Dad right. jokes. I like the one That's you sent true. yesterday. Ah, wasn't that Kiki? About uh, maybe a Dick. book. Mama, I wasn't going to say that because you know. Why not? Oh are, my! Some people in our audience yeah. are on the gender spectrum, and we want to respect. Get in line. That. Oh, trust! How many dates have I said that on? For what? Real. Ms. Matenga, how you doing, bitch? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Never enough hours in the day. Word. Trying to, you know, always like, like fighting with the lights right before showtime. Like, ah, ah, ah. but I think that's Honey. part of the that's part of the frisson. The allure. It part, it's part of the frisson. It the is frisson. part of the frisson. So I see you guys have like some some uh, artwork behind you, Miss Booby. You got a Star Wars thing, and Matenga, yep. you got your your. Uh, ladies of the comics and Miss Marlena Dietrich. Yes, actually, this is uh, a, apparently one of the uh, premier Marlena Dietrich female impersonators. His name was Sean Phillips. Oh, I don't know uh, her. Yeah, and she was like big in the seventies and the eighties. And this did like, she uh, sing? Uh, um, did she sing a song? She said, "I can't take another sleepless, sleepless night." night. That's that's Sean something else. <laughs> I can't take <laughs> another sleepless night. Miss Sean, Miss Honey. Um, and it's autographed. And, Wait a minute. Uh, Miss Sean, Miss Honey also sang Wheat Paste. Wheat Paste. No, no, no. Wasn't Wheat Paste. Wheat Paste. Lonnie Gordon. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because no, no. Wheat, wheat Paste is, is actually Debbie Gibson. Don't... No, no. Paste. Isn't Wheat Paste, wheat paste. Debbie Gibson? I thought, we, I thought Wheat Paste was Don't Lose the Magic. No, no. Because Wheat Paste is Wheat Huh. And don't lose the magic that magician. Wait a minute. Which, by the way, I always call "Don't lose the matches." Don't lose the matches. Match. Oh, do you know what I was listening to? I was listening to Allison Limerick, "Where Love Lives." Lives. Yes, oh. So oh. good. I had forgotten Live. the classic. That is, that is still a bop, and it's still good. Sean Christopher. I Sean Christopher. Sean. I can't take another sleepless night. I want yes. some drugs. And of course, this beautiful piece of artwork, this beautiful piece of artwork that you created for me. But yeah, it does. He looks exactly like Marlena. And Miss Ricky gave that to me. Some some rich old queen. And Sean his Phillips. Does. Sean hey. Phillips from the 70s and 80s? Yes. Actually, I do know something about Sean Phillips from the 70s and 80s. Really quite the performer. Also performed on a TV sitcom, but under the name Mackenzie Phillips. Mackenzie I Phillips. was about to I say. Think it was, um, yes. One day at a time. One day at then, a time. Then moved on to uh, 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 Wilson, Wilson Phillips. Phillips. Yeah, yeah. And honey, yes. the, all the greatest Hold hits. on. Hold, hold on. on there, honey. Hold you better on. hold on. It's a vine. You can change. You could change your way if you hold on for, for one day. If you hold they have on. a beautiful love song. What's that love song they do? Something about um, you're in love. You're in love. It's the way. It's the way. It's all about it she should be. Because she's left her all right. Her. And I want your you hair to is be so, so nappy. No, I don't oh. want you to be happy. Yeah. I do not want you to be happy if you leave me. Yeah. For real. Um, no, yes, I feel like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. go on. Well, so anyway, welcome to So Auntie Ways. Welcome to So Auntie Ways. <laughs> this is America's Shazam premiere. Uh, what is this? <laughs> it's over for us, for us is what you're trying to say. That's it's right. over for us. So Auntie Way. So Auntie Way. That's yeah, so way. over, honey. Over. Do you know what I just started rewatching last? That is very loud, Matenga. Oh, you know what? Sorry, misonomia, whatever that is. I'm sorry about that. Misonomy. Misonomia. What is it called? Oh, no, misonomia. <laughs> is it that when you get asbestos poisoning? Yeah. No, that's mesotheliomia. Oh. I mean, yeah, mesotheliomia. <laughs> You're talking about misophonia. Misophonia. <laughs> not misophonia or whatever you do. No, no but misophonia is when an agent yeah. is trying to tell you they're going to try and call you. Miss Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Booby, you're talking about trans people, ashy people, Asian yes. people, and you're the Girl, sober, man. sexy one. Misophonia. Yeah. That's, oh, no, that's Jamaican. That's yeah. Jamaican. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I froze. I'm going to step out and come back step in. Step out, girl. Step out, bitch. Somebody need to. It's Somebody getting wacky. To. By the way, 
Yes, you know, I, I I walk Mamaya at seven fifteen every Mamaya at uh-huh. seven fifteen every morning with a, uh-huh. a group of old ladies and their dogs, uh-huh. and we have had some really some major heavy duty conversations. But one of the conversations was about how much I love Star Wars, and one of the old ladies, really sweet, she came uh, yesterday, uh, a couple of days after our Star Wars conversation, brings a brown paper bag. She was like, "I feel so bad because this is so not brand new." but i thought of you when i saw this I, it was in my garage oh look is it uh the force awakens yeah oh, just like word. she said i had my pencils and pens in it but you probably would want it more than me i was like oh, oh my god that was fabulous. so sweet that first of all that she would remember mm-hmm. that i had talked to her about star wars and that she was she thought I'd appreciate no. that. I thought that was really, really sweet. Because you know, forgetful old bitches, you know. You girl. know what I'm saying? And then you got this big old Nelly Fufu who's walking his dog with them. Oh, you but, mean you? Yeah, me. And yeah. and then we got to heart to heart about some some serious life shit. And mm. you know, she mentions that she's a member of Al-Anon, and Al-Anon is one of the twelve step groups for people who have people that they love who are suffering from the disease and we just got into it and she was just like you know come she came to the realization this guy's not so bad he may be mm. a big nelly foo-foo but he got his shit together mm. mm-hmm. I was like, hey. well you know the other thing is that well i just want to say if someone approaches me in the park with a brown paper bag i tend not to accept it except um, that they're old over the age of 70 myrna come on yeah man. over the age of 70 speaking of over the age of 70 miss honey's back but i'm back <laughs> To as misophonia for the next yeah misophonia okay and so did we did we say welcome to so auntie ways we did but we can say it again do it girl please i want to welcome all of you to <laughs> so auntie ways i am miss matanga this is your diamond and this is booby hey, yes yeah yo i was wounded i got up early i was looking for my so auntie ways t-shirt i know i have it as you guys know i have an absolute dearth of fucking printed tees. And I'm looking and looking and looking. I could not find my So Auntie Ways t-shirt, yo. I think somebody no. housed it. I'm wounded. I'll buy another one. But I was like, fuck, man. Yeah. And, you know, I just I got to- my angel dusted t-shirt. Yeah, for real. Did you? I just got it in the mail, yeah. Oh, maybe I'll From Redbubble. I was oh. wounded. I did find, though, I found that's class. Uh, this bodega is choice. <laughs> Learn it. I found every other T-shirt that we've made, but I couldn't find that one. In this I closet, learning- I have my sweatshirts, and it's got the "Don't do it, Debra." Or don't do it, Miss oh, Debra. Don't cause it, Miss Debra. Don't cause don't it, Miss Debra. 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 Yo, are those still up? Because those are lovely ones. Don't and cause it is up, and this bodega is choice is up. That's so, class. So Auntie Ways. Currently- so Auntie Ways is up. As is, uh, I hate to start with a commercial, but um, speaking of merch, somebody had requested this after seeing it on some episode we did. It's Miss Mothra Ray. Oh, I okay. love it so much. Oh, you Got know what? It. I'm, I'm going to get that one. I, I Ms. have to buy another. Ms. I have to buy some aunties. Yeah, I have to buy some. But I've got to get that Mothra Ray. It's so cute. I will say I am wearing a lovely little, what do you call a shirt like this? A Henley? Is this what you call a Henley? Polo. A little polo that your husband, Miss Booby, uh, gave me as a gift. And I absolutely love it. Oh, Aww. it's very cute. She's very great, babe, darling. I'm very great, babe, great, great, babe Dolly. Meets the Hamptons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, meets a queen who did too much CBD and is gasping. Honey, what? Hampers, yes. ham, hamster, hampers, ham, 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 hamster. Oh, so I was oh, going to say. More merch. Yeah. More merch on Redbubble. It's Redbubble, not spring. We are on Redbubble, people. It's cool. Yeah. Redbubble. The link is below. Yes, it absolutely is below. And, you know, before we get super, super into it, you guys don't even know this, that I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor. This is a sponsored video. Oh, oh my goodness. So when you want to be relaxed and also moist and ready for action, there's Quaaludes. Quaaludes from Pfizer. Okay, so enough with the merch and the chit chat and the chatter. Yes. Let's dive into our first segment, which is, we'll just pick one at random. What are you featuring this week? Miss Booby, go for it. What am I featuring this week? Okay, what I'm featuring this week week is um, old ladies with brown paper bags. Yes. Oh, I did. I, by the way, Matinga, uh, I was telling Miss Diamond a, a a story about the women that I walk Maya with, with every morning that have their dogs, and I shared my love of Star Wars with them, and one oh, of them gave me this gift. Oh, is that Cute. a mug? 
it's a cup, but it, you know, it's probably like a McDonald's thing. But it's, uh, the, I think, The Force Awakens. Or which was the one with Snoke? That's the Last Jedi. Wait a minute, Last Jedi. Maybe like Last I'm, Jedi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm last yeah so Jedi. it's to put my pens and stuff in. I thought oh, it was really yeah. sweet. Is it vintage? Really cute, huh? Is it vintage? Well, um, nah, it's just you know. Well, the movie only came out eight years ago, or yeah. right. so, right. so vintage for yeah. some. The children, old lady's maybe. probably vintage. Honey, okay. thank you. Yeah. Um. So what I'm featuring is something that uh, helps me get through my day, other than quay loops. Quay loops. Yep. Because quay loops side effects may include <laughs> gassiness. <laughs> Gassy, upset stomach, yeah. diarrhea. Um, it's um. Forgive it if it sounds corny. It's called gratitude lists. And what it is is when I wake up in the morning, uh, if I'm waking up on the wrong side of the bed or I'm feeling like I'm having uh, shoulder issues after the surgery, we won't get into, huh? Um, because I was stupid enough to start working out when I Ooh. shouldn't have. Oh, um, but then needless to say, you know, when I'm feeling very victim, 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 I I write a gratitude list, which is three things that I'm gra grateful for today. And it can be as stupid as Cuban coffee, which is what I wake every, make every morning, Hello. to my heart beating throughout the night when I don't have to even think about that. You know, and that I woke up alive. Um, so that's why what I'm featuring this week. It's just a it's a tool that I use to get out of the funk when the funk can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Because those mornings when you wake up dead, so tired. Oh, girl, for real. For real. Oh, take it out real. Of you. You've mm -hmm. eaten your boyfriend's brains. You didn't girl. realize it. Brains. Suddenly, it's brains. 28 days later. You know. But they're making the third one. 28 years later, right? 28 years later. Gag. Yeah. And Cillian Murphy then, said he'd be in it. Well, he's going to have like a little cameo. A little cameo. He's, okay. he's producing. Because, honey, she just won the Oscar. Right. Yeah, she so it's good, but it is going to be Danny Boyle. I do want to see a quiet. A quiet. Oh, me too. A quiet place three. First day. It's called. First day. With and I didn't know Lupita, Lupita Biongo is that homeless bitch. I live. I she live. Look and Miss Jaiman Hunsu, who's in the second one. Yes, well. and he was also in uh, what's his name, Miss Honey's, who was going to do Star Wars, but he made Rebel Moon. Is it James Gunn? No, Jack uh, Snyder. Jack, Jack Snyder. Snyder. He was who in I Rebel Moon, Have anyone which was interesting. Rebel Moon? I did. I watched pro part one and two with Bob. No pales in comparison to Star Wars, but you can see the very a lot of similarities. Great special effects. I've got to admit, mediocre acting, shitty plot. But well, uh, Miss Sophia Butella. I love her. Would you call me? Miss Sophia Botella. No, you're <laughs> just Sophia Petrillo, honey. <laughs> Thank Sophia, you. Sophia Nutella. But you I know, they're, ma they're making a part three called Rebel Poon. Rebel Poon, um, honey. Directed by D. Snyder of Twisted Sister. And Chi Chi LaRue. So gratitude list. Here yes. For I love that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I relate to that. You know, I went to the store uh, the other day because my um, personal assistant was off for the day. I gave her the day off. It was Cinco de Mayo. Anyway, so I went to the store myself to get myself some walnut chocolate chunk cookies. And the store was really crowded. I can hear someone laughing. Is it my roommate? Or is he coughing? Um, the store was really crowded and I was really upset and pissy because people were just getting too close to me and I was getting very, very irritable. I just wanted my cookies. And then I saw this like couple, this older couple. Matinga, please stop that. Sorry, I'm just bringing the camera a little closer. Sorry, Dang. but you're interrupting. You're interrupting my flow, darling. So, um, like a tampon, you're interrupting my flow. <laughs> That's what I've always been your personal tampon. You have. That's kind of my place in your life. You're my own little maxi. Pad. You're so absorbing, Mama. I soak with, up your blood with wings. <laughs> I do so, with wings. I tam. But so I'm there. This is a serious topic, guys. So I'm there online, really pissed. And uh, I see this older couple, he was maybe like 80, and then I saw his wife, and she was like pushing a little walker, and they were buying their cantaloupe or whatever. And I thought, you know, probably a lot harder for them to deal with the store than for me to deal with the store. And my takeaway was, A, be grateful, and B, Consuela's doing the shopping next time. I don't care what holiday it is. She's, what the fuck am I paying her for? Moving Rita. on. Miss Matinga, what are you featuring, darling? So what I am featuring today, and it kind of plays into a, a little bit, a little bit into uh, my crush this week, is uh, one of my favorite vlogs, which is uh, a vlog called 
uh, Be Kind, Rewind. Re rewind. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of that Karina Longworth vlog that you like, Michael, which is called- oh, You Must um, Remember This. You Must Remember This. And they sort of cover the same territory in which they cover like old Hollywood, but they do like, in, like intense research and they do deep dives on kind of like, you know, everybody has done Betty and Joan yeah. and so has she. But uh, she, you know, she does all these different actresses and all these different actors and all these different films. So anyway, so last night uh, she did uh, Clara Bow, who mm. was the original It Girl. Wasn't she the the cow in Bozo? Clara uh, Clara, Bell. That's Clara oh. Bell. That's Clara Sorry. Bell. Sorry. But uh, <laughs> who knows? Maybe her career went down. You know, by the time the fifties rolled around. Mm -hmm. uh, but she a was bitch a bitch. Got to swim. A bitch got to swim and a bitch. Fish got to swim, but a bitch got to eat. Yeah. And she was a big star, like in the 20s. Yes, and I remember. a very, very interesting, interesting woman. But what but my what I'm into is be kind rewind. I just think, I just think if you like what we do, she does something totally different, but it's really interesting. And also, like who like she did an she did an hour on Clara Bow. And I knew a little bit about Clara Bow. I knew she was the it girl, her and Theta Bara, and I knew one or two of her movies, but I didn't really know anything about her. She was really super interesting. And mm -hmm. so that's what I meant to be kind rewind this week. Very good. Fabulous. Love it. Love yeah. it. You know, speaking of um Karina Longworth, I don't know if we talked about this before. Do you know she's married to um Ryan Johnson, who did The Last Jedi, the director? Did you really? know that? Oh, yeah. Rian Johnson. Rian Johnson. I call him Ryan because we like that. We're close. You white. Um, we, you, well, anyway, well, good. Those are both <laughs> things are. that I like. My thing that I'm featuring is very simple this week. Um, you know, summer is approaching. And so I am just feeling simple, oversized sunglasses. Ooh, because, yes. honey, the sun, the sun is not your friend, darling. No. The sun is not your friend. No. 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 So I'm feeling these. I may wear them for the rest of the episode. I don't know. <laughs> I'm surprised uh, you don't do like just one of those like like the visors. Down visors. Well, I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be rude. Oh, again, 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 ever again. So, do you bitches have something you are not featuring this week? Uh, I do, but I don't have to go first necessarily. Go for it. Why not? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and and in the quick, we're not going to go into this super super deep. But um, I would think that we would all agree that the three of us are. Uh, oh, Mama, is this a political thing? No, no, no. Well, uh, here it's a political. It's a political jibe that okay. the three of us are uh, uh, lovers and protectors of animals. That we, oh, oh. that we that we care for animals and we love animals True. and uh, uh, and and you know some of us have worked in the animal industry. I worked in the animal industry, but we've all had pets and we love them. So I want to uh, the thing that I'm not featuring this week, and I was never featuring her, but truly not featuring is Governor Christy Nome, not of, of not of my state. The governor of my state is, is also South, a woman. South Kathy Dakota. Kathy Hochul is our governor, and she's she's all right. Yeah. I She's fine. Uh, she's a little surged, Miss Kathy Hochul. Uh, but Christy Nome, you know, she put out her fake autobiography in which apparently she had a fake meeting with Kim Jong-un that she's being raked over the coals for. But one of the other things that she's rightly being raked over the coals for is uh, that she killed not only her goat, her pet goat, but she killed her hunting dog, which was still a puppy because she considered it untrainable. And she used the excuse of, this is what happens on farms. And my grandmother had a farm in Puerto Rico back in the 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s. And she raised goats and uh, cows and she had chickens and they had, you know, and they and they grew stuff. And, and uh, my grandmother routinely would go out and break a chicken's neck. Get a chicken. And unpluck it, and his, so mm -hmm. so so hard shit goes down on a farm, but not shit like that. That no. that was someone too lazy to put the real training into training an animal, or really find it a better home, or find it a better a more home, appropriate home. If, if, because you know what, there's somebody out there who could have turned that puppy around. Me, but she, you, absolutely, and so, but she. Uh, if, if if indeed she really did this, and I do think that she did, she was also trying to make points, right? 
Right, with because she wants to be uh, vice president, and Bush. she won't be. She's disgusting. Talk yeah. about desperado. First of all, desperate. Desperado. So, Christy Nome, um, shame on you. Slimy, kick shit, terrible. Fucking hate her. I wish someone had put her down. Thank yeah. Um, At least bro, the hair. Just d- detestable on every fucking level. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, but to the people that you know like her and like that sort of politician machismo like they're in, like that Bullshit. that's cool they're into second that. amendment gun rights kind of thing but uh, i will say all i don't know how that's linked with animal cruelty you know but there are some people that do link it with tough. animal cruelty you know just to seem tough. tough like we, this is how you take care of you know ornery uh you know uh, untrainable animals you just it's not tough. take it's care ornery. of it yourself it's no stupid. it's cruel no it's uneducated uh, and ignorant yeah. neanderthal but I will say that all the media, including places like Fox and stuff like that, they've yeah. all, all taken her yeah. to task. Beca- and and a Jake Tapper in CNN, without getting too tr- political, said, yeah. you, no matter what political party you are, That's there's one wrong. common uniting factor. People love dogs. People yeah. love their dogs. They and love you their don't, don't, you know, don't, you can come for their guns, you can come for abortion rights, but don't come for their dog. Yeah. A dog yeah. is, in America, is as American as, you know, as baseball, liberty and, as and happiness pie. yeah as a, a big spread open butthole on gay pride day thanks to oh. quaaludes by pfizer quaaludes. <laughs> the more you know the more you know wow well you know what rest That's in a good peace, one little doggy whoever you yeah. were and yeah fuck cricket. That bitch. little cricket. cricket that's what um me. yo fuck that bitch with a rusty ass sawed off shotgun fuck her and anybody like her so it's word. Testable. Yeah. Awful. Uh Miss Booby, what are you not featuring this week? I'm gonna pass because I'm not feature I'm not featuring not featuring anything this week. I'm I good. think what you're not featuring is the you're not, not of featuring not featuring. Something. That's what I'm no, I'm I'm not even not featuring the not featuring segment. I'm just not featuring okay. anything. Okay, girl. All right. In general. All right. Girl. Anything at all. I'm you're good. Like, I'm good because I'm grateful. Yes. Praise the Lord. All right, praise him or her or them. And what so you featuring? Bitch, or not I featuring. Feel- let me tell you, I feel like I can talk about it now. Um, I feel like I'm in a safe space with you two and our loving audience. Um, yeah. I feel like I can talk about it now. Do you guys remember um, the day the eclipse happened in the Northeast here in America? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guys, something happened to me. You changed to a werewolf. Something a Jewish werewolf. I did not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A werewolf. Um, a werewolf. Something, something I did not consent to. Um, oh, again? I was at a friend's apartment in the East Village, and how much? How much you get paid? He had a visitor there. Uh, she was visiting from New Mexico, Albuquerque, as she kept calling it, Albuquerque. Oh. And I should have known she was trouble, honey, because she was wearing these long silver earrings shaped like feathers. Like, and I'm oh, like, oh no. I'm like, I'm like, oh, well, huh, what's going down? Anyway, yeah. I really, I didn't go to see her. I went to see my. Was friend. she white? Girl. And so, um, <laughs> so she was a white girl. Bruh. And bruh. So, bruh. Oh uh-huh. my God. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> so I'm there and uh, you know the uh, picture a white girl only me. wearing a bra. Uh, and these long earrings. And uh, you know, I'm about to go on with my day and it's mid afternoon or early afternoon. And she's like, you know, um, it is custom in the native communities that I'm in touch with in New Mexico, in Albuquerque, that when the eclipse comes, you're supposed to stay indoors. And I'm like Okay. She goes, yeah, I've actually goes, heard of that. Uh, I'm going to smudge you. And I'm like, you gonna do what? Uh and I have my little backpack and shit. And I guess my my you know, my driver was idling outside and I was like, uh girl, what's going on? She's and like, um, she lights it up. <laughs> she, like, she, she, she took an incense stick and she like rubbed it this way and that way, and I put my arms out. Have I told this story before? No, because I, no. I feel no. like I'm just I'm reliving the trauma. That's so, my regular Friday night. But go ahead. Says, okay, put your arms out like this, like a Christ figure, I suppose. Yeah. And yeah. so I did, and she's like running this smoking stick of incense all up and down me, and I'm looking at my friend like for for real, bruh. And uh, she says, I want to get the bottom of your feet. I says, okay. I lift up one foot. She smudges it. Lift up, she smudges it. She says, okay. And I turn around. I says, all right. I turn around. She's smudging the back of me. Duck it up the your back. ass. And she's like, and then she's like, drop, I want drop. you. To- She's like, I want you to let go of whatever's holding you back. And I'm thinking, bitch, you holding me back because I got places to go. <laughs> yeah. my, honey, my driver is on the clock, this girl. Five minutes. I can't. Bitch. Also, I want to see the damn eclipse. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. And whoever 
this woman was and wherever she is right now, I'm assuming back in Albuquerque, I hope she's happy with her fucking fucked up earrings and her turquoise jewelry and her smudge sticks and her native community, bitch. But she was I trying was, to help your ass. I was, I did not consent to be you smudged, You needed honey. smudging, Myrna. Obviously. Look at you. Just look at you. I mean, to be honest, mama, let's, let's pause for a second. Let's pause it, girl. Oh, in no, the smudging Deborah, world, don't pause it. Yeah. in the smudging world, yeah, okay, smudging. Uh -huh. you need to heal. heal. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. In the, she bitch, wanted in the, to heal your spirit. Bitch, you in know? the smudging world, we have to set you on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Girl. just gather around me as yeah. I'm like sitting there smoldering. To, yeah, to really do the do. Oh, she's we healing. Are, we've got it. The bonfire is you. Yes. Uh, anyway. By the way, in the Native American communities, they do believe that if you step out during an eclipse, like a like a spirit can take your soul. Like they're 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 like, do not step out into an eclipse. Yes. Come for yeah. it. Yeah, but right I, you know who it. believes in smudging? Not necessarily the Native American version, but Ricky. Santeras. Ricky believes, uh, Santeras. Santeros and, and what do you think? In all over Brooklyn, there are these places, and they're called botanicas. And right. often people will confuse them for flower shops, but they're not. They're witchcraft. Because you think you hear botanical, you think botanical. You think botanicals, but you walk in and it's flat out like witchcraft. I mean, not yeah. witchcraft. It's kind of voodoo mixed with religion. Right. And stuff like that, but Miss Ricky, Judge Judy Candles. Yeah, Miss Ricky has come here with some sage and saged my apartment because he's like, Lovely. "Yo, bro, you've got the fucking worst luck I've ever seen." He and he has told me he, 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 he saged my apartment. Yeah, well, he did. Well, I was I mean, like, "Can you smoke that?" And that's cute for him, and kudos for him, and kudos for him. And I feel like you know that saying, "Religion is like a dick." I'm glad you like yours, but don't put it in my face. That's how I feel about any religion smudging you want to do santeria and cut off some chicken's head and whatever and hang around little haiti in miami whatever then that's on you and that's cute for you but like i said my driver's on the clock and i got shit to do she and she you jewish nice. but listen you know this room that i'm in right now yeah yes can you, can you see it can you see your computer it? room i had a let's say a spirit lingering in here I, oh and, Lord, and I, girl, have you tried for breeze? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I I had more fiber and it cleared up. No, I had a spirit, and I won't get into it. Um, but I got some smudge uh, with lavender, yeah. so it actually yeah. smelled kind of lovely. You can go to the you know these shops, these um, not botanicas, but you know new age crystals and new chakra crystal. and all that. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. and they sell smudges with <laughs> all types of things in it, and. <laughs> 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 That's you have to make that sound as you walk into those stores. Oh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> That's and that's how you make your order, girl. Yeah. 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 I smudged yeah. in here and the He's spirit gone. left. The okay, spirit was girl. gone. Yeah. So right, it's all girl. cleared. Yeah. Well, it's about I'm, energy. Well, then, it's about the then I'm going to send this bitch to your house because I was not fat. Yeah. I was not feeling it, girl. I was like, nah, I got things to do, bitch. Mm, okay. okay. I get you. I get you. All right. I didn't consent to it. Okay. I it's like a, a spiritual done to you mama we're not using that word oh, honey why i don't understand I don't, just, I, explain know. to me why certain words you can no longer use because where was i when this happened when this law passed there are no, some honey, words we can't words. use but the thing is <laughs> <laughs> bro. oh my god i just i didn't know oh my god, oh, my god. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. That's well, really and also, also, it triggers. You know, the, it, yeah. it triggers people, people and are, are triggered. Are triggered. It was a non-consensual okay. smokeout session. Like, yes. do you know what I'm saying, girl? Miss yeah. you know what I'm saying, girl. Shit. Uh, eventually. So, yeah. um, so I woke up in a. Lose. I woke up in a sling once. With after oh. one of those, you came out of your reverie and you were like, "Oh, oh. do tell and what's movie? this line of guys? Oh, and honey." You were like Chaka Khan. Oh, honey. And Edie you, don't, what? you don't want to know that story. And Edie Chacon? Um, yeah. His and Edie Chacon was standing over me. Is that Edie Chacon? Smudge oh, these. Smudge these. These motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> My smudge pillows. Yeah. <laughs> Your smudgy pillows. They're breasts, <laughs> mama. Yeah. Mama. You know, Mr. Tate, I've never seen Carrie. 
Yes, you did. No, I I, I had never seen it. And oh, then well, recently, I, and then I yeah. watched it. Because oh, I had never, okay. Because you guys guilted me into seeing it, and it was actually. And you, it was. What do you think? Excellent. It was excellent. It yeah. was really excellent. A little dated, a little yeah. sepia toned. But then yeah. so but, are we. Um, so are really we. Good. Look at look yeah. at your diamonds uh, screen right now. I know. Look at her. I Just mean, look at her. <laughs> you know what? Hey, what do you think of this as a drag name? Can this be happening? Ooh. Can this be happening? With I a question like mark? it. Can yeah. this be happening? What do you think about egregious Philbin? Oh, I like egregious that. Egregious Philbin. That's a very yeah. New York it is. cut. The man's been dead 18 years. Yeah. Is he? Uh, is he? But we know. Speaking of like dead, 10 years. Speaking of dead men's. Um, oh, one quick thing, though, about live with Regis and Kathy Lee, as long as we're going on tangents here. Right. Miss, Miss Matinga, you'll probably remember this. Back in the day, a bunch of kids from Glenny went on live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Wow. And I want to say it was Liza uh, or Orly, one of those young lesbians. And Kathy Lee said to her something like, well, how long have you had this problem? And she's like, I don't have a problem. This is not a problem. I love so, that. Yeah, so, yeah, step two, it. darling. And I, I'm okay yeah. with Kathy Lee. What was the problem? That she was a lesbian. Or being a lesbian. Oh. A lesbian. Yeah. So Kathy, had, honey, Kathy had a problem with it. I think it was just her phrasing was off. I was sitting right there in the front row. Kathy Lee was such a cunt. And Suzanne Summers did an act from her Las Vegas show. She sang It's Raining Men. And we very audibly laughed. The beautiful thing about the Glenny Kids was that it was super multicultural. It was super diverse, but everyone had an opinion. Everyone was welcome oh, to share they. their opinions. Like, and you know, we were uh, we had a spirit of activism. Uh, Glenny, Glenny rocked. Glenny was oh, rocked. Miss Francis, Do you remember Francis? Oh, not our Francis or Francis? No, Francis the with the glasses. Francis. Lesbian Francis from Glenny. Yes, yes. She had glasses with, and long hair and just a cool chick. Very hip, hip hippie. Dead. Right, that's dead, dead with Carla dead. and Is Siobhan. She? I don't know. I thought that's where this was going. Oh, okay. Because so what like, oh, are we Francis. featuring, girl? Oh, speaking of dead bitches, speaking of old bitches, let's move on to who we think is hot this week. Let's kick it off. Can I you go may first? Yes. Certainly go first. And I'm going to guess. Absolutely. That you did not send me a photo to show on the screen. Oh, darn it. I'll, I'll, should I email it to you? Because I have it right in front of me. Um, so, so should Diamond sent me, uh, told me about this show, This because I'm a sci-fi addict, uh, uh, called uh, Raised by Wolves. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I absolutely loved the damn show. It was fabulous. And unfortunately, after... One or two seasons, they discontinued it. Two seasons. And it was on. Uh, was it on Amazon? I forgot so what bad. it was on. It, it was on Netflix. Uh, it was on H HB no HBO, which is now Max. HBO. Yes, um, great and, fucking show. Oh my god. Anyway, the one of the actors on it, and I just emailed you his picture. His, okay. Uh, was is the father or the creator of the robots? The actor's name is Cosmo Jarvis. Love and he and and, and I, I do too um i remember thinking oh my god this man is so lovely i uh, uh, and i just started watching the series on hulu shogun the very first episode i'm not into that kind of stuff what was his name of the guy the guy that was came out later in life Richard Chamberlain was Richard in the original show. Was in the original in the show. Yes, yes. Anyway, yes. I we watched the I watched it last night because um, Little Rock uh, from San Fran was saying how great the show is. I said, "Let me check it out." Rock we were best. gagging. The show we only watched the first episode, and I'm like, "Honey, I'm not into that kind of butch stuff." But Cosmo Jarvis is the star. All right, let's and bring up a picture that. of Cosmo Jarvis. Mm -hmm. He's very, mm -hmm. he's very man. Oh, like definitely very man. Wait a minute. I mean, who is he, who is he on Raised by Wolves? Because I don't remember. He was him. the creator of the 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 robots, of the androids. He sent her. He act, she got pregnant by him. Do you remember? And she, in in a in a dream vision quest, the 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 mother 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 got pregnant I remember her by him with the scream. Yeah, I didn't see it. I haven't seen oh, it. So oh, my no, God, no, Mama! No spoilers. No spoilers. Great. Yeah, show. but anyway, you know, great. Oh, actor. But I will. 
I will say that uh, Raised by Wolves has been, uh, the, they have said that Raised by Wolves is in universe with aliens. It's the same exact universe. Ah, I could totally see it. I could totally see universe. that. And I wish they were making that third season because yeah, I it's know. such a unreal. I mean, you know, like you can predict. So I again, I, I pride myself in predicting all sorts of plots between horror mm -hmm. and sci-fi. Mm -hmm. This is completely unpredictable. I, I've never seen anything like I it. Loved like, it. I loved it. Loved, loved the concept of religion yeah. in the future and how mm -hmm. toxic it is even then. And mm -hmm. and the division that it creates in the world and all that stuff, but that the androids are show more humanity than yeah, humans. For sakes, I haven't even watched Stranger Things yet. There's so much to watch. Oh my there's, god, there's girl, one. you got to catch up. That was a good one. that show. Unfortunately, was a victim of what's that guy, David Zaslav or whatever his name is. Oh, they're, you know, Zaslav. They're not. They're not going to wrap up Westworld. He killed the Batgirl movie. You know, it was that. Uh, uh, Dark Crystal. Miss Dark Crystal, darling. Age of Resistance. Well, Dark Crystal was a Netflix feeling, right? right. So that's different, right. different, oh, so different, different jab. The, Well, I did Dark Crystal. It was Netflix, and don't chill because I was, I was just so hyped up, girl. I was like, honey, what is this? Some Dark Crystal, right. and and shit. And they um, used to call me Dark Crystal when I would but, mix meth uh -huh. with uh, with Viverin uh -huh. and uh, and G, and I yeah. would become Twisted Sister. Honey, Miss they Dark call that crank, like, Mama. Dark Crystal oh. is crank, but let's not get into that. Okay. And I never, I never, I or never, and I never did, I never did Dark Crystal. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, oh, okay. Listen, so the guy they do call me Darkness. The Darkness. They call you the Darkness. <laughs> the Darkness. They call you the Darkness. All we right, knew well, the you know darkness. what? Booby, tell me that name again. Cosmo Jarvis. Cosmo. He's also a lead singer of a rock band, like very multi-talented. His, mo like his, mo his father's British, his mother's Armenian. Love it. Um, he I looks could, you know, he no, I think uh, to, to me he looks biracial. I thought he was half, you know, African American or African or something. He's just Armenians can have a sense of exotic, like share, about them. like share. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or my friend Haraj. Matanga, did you meet Haraj? My, my Armenian friend from LA. I didn't. I never got a chance to meet him. No. Mm. Oh, Gabriel. Yeah, uh, Gabriel. I've yes. never met him in person, but we're good yeah. friends online. I think she's fab. Now she's doing hair. She's fab yeah. queen. Yeah, fab, yeah. interesting queen. You know, I, I collect I love people him. in my travels. I just collect people, darling. Yes, you know, I just yes. collect people. As long as they don't want to smudge me, they may join the caravan. Matinga, who are you crushing on this week? Okay, so I'm crushing on. So, so. As I stated earlier, I was watching uh, this um, vlog called Be Kind, Rewind. It was all about Clara Bow. But uh, in late 1927, she made a film called Children of Divorce. Children of the and, Corn. Uh, and, and so I'm watching this little shot, that the little scene from the movie within her vlog. And this man, who is apparently her uh, boyfriend in the movie, steps into view of the camera. Mm. This guy took my breath away i thought he was stunning i literally paused it and i was like whoa who is really? this and i had to i had to do a little bit of research turns out it's fucking gary cooper who had a super long wow. career he had a really and he was a handsome man even when mm -hmm. but, but when he was wow. like in his 20s honey he was beautiful oh, wow. he was so beautiful very tall very thin beautiful beautiful face and then he kind of like aged into like a john Forsyth type where he even he still created he's still working he was still super handsome. duper i had no idea that that is what that man looked like honey handsome. i was like whoa so mm -hmm. i'm crushing on gary cooper little known fact about gary cooper his granddaughter is bernadette cooper lead singer of climax meeting in the no Louisville. yes no no yes well, and her yes. sister Deborah Cooper. And her Mr. sister Deborah. Elise oh no, Cooper. no, Why? uh King Cooper from Why is that so strange? From uh, Mario Brothers. Um catch this child, but, but I'm not gonna digress. Need love too. Divas yeah. need love too. Who is that? John yeah. Wayne. Wow. Oh, Who I'm was not. a supreme racist. Yeah, okay, I'm much. Much yeah, like I know you much. much like Wasn't Clint he lovely? Wood. Yeah. Racist I, and a and a and a NR NR uh, I blow National Rifle Association. Put a white coat over his head yeah. and I, whatever. Um, what? <laughs> a white 
A white hood. Okay, pick one: John Wayne or Lil Wayne. Oh, John. Oh, well, really, a devil's choice. I would do John well, Wayne, okay, and as I'm blowing him, I would say, "Turn down for what?" Oh, wait, how about how about John Wayne, Little Wayne, or, or Dwayne Wayne Brady, Wayne. or or Miss Dwayne Wayne? Oh, Wayne Brady. <laughs> Ms. Which Wayne is like Brady. really the most likely option to happen since one of them is dead. Or, or, or Father dead. Brady from the Brady Bunch. He was dead. gay. Yeah. Uh, that, that actor was gay. Yeah, he was Father over Brady. it. What was his name? Robert Reed. Robert Reed. Who's not the same as Reed Richards. Who's also not related to Mary Richards. Or Mary Oliver Donna Reed. Morgan. Or Oliver Reed. Or Oliver Twist, darling. Right. So get it or correct. I'm a, or Miss I'm a Reed. Miss I'm a Reed. Okay. I'm a Reed. I'm a Reed. I'm a Reed. <laughs> So let me tell you who I'm crushing on. Please and then we can move along. Thank you. Please. Um, <clears throat> girl. Children of divorce. So, you know, I like to be good to my employees. I gave my driver the day off. Okay. And I was down in Chelsea and I needed to go home. So I took what you people call the subway. And I bought one of those Metro cards, you know, that you people use. Poor people, when I say you people. Oh. And um, because Thank my driver was. Yeah, darling. And uh, so I'm on 14th Street at the ACE. Bitch, I walk onto the, you know, when you walk in after the turnstile thing, and there are two police officers there, one of whom is so fly, so fly. And I had seen him there like six weeks earlier. Another day, my driver had off. It was so weird. Yeah. And um, yeah. I said, if mm. I ever see this guy again, I'm going to take a picture. Like, whatever. So I see him there. I'm like gasping, gooping. My basement's flooded. There's like mold growing, okay? All kinds of black mold, bitch. I may have gotten popcorn lung, but whatever. Again. I messed with the Leomia. And so, um, so I go, you know, I go down to get the uptown ACE, whatever. I think, no, you know what? I'm gonna get his picture. So, honey, I go back up and I walk towards him with my phone propped up like this, like I'm looking for something, but I snapped his picture. And when I got up to him, I said, um, excuse me, yeah, 34th Street, is that like uptown or downtown. And he was like, it's uptown, whatever. Let me show you the picture I snapped, bitch. Oh, please do. Where? Here he is. Look at him, bitch. Yeah. Oh that's my God. Amazing. Doesn't he yeah. look like a young, thin Chris Hemsworth? I was about to say look that. at this motherfucker. Judas Priest. Yes and no. I mean, he's handsome in his own way too. Just great hair. Look at yeah. the pose. He's nice and tall. Yeah. Look at tall? the pose. And mm, it was very mm. tall. Three words yeah. for him. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 honey. And oh, girl, I mm. got the picture. And then I went down and took the subway like a poor person. Honey, oh, fuck oh, me oh, wearing oh. the boots, the hat, and, and fuck the me belt, with and the boots. It. You know, I normally pleasure myself to Mrs. Buttersworth, but I think with that picture, <laughs> Mrs. Buttersworth. <laughs> that reminds me of something, but I don't know what. Oh, uh, I. Well, one time, I know y'all have heard this before. I made up, I wanted to do a character. It's a maple syrup with low self esteem called Mrs. Butterworthless. Hey. But, uh, so, Love anyway, it. that's who I'm crushing on. That motherfucking cop. Wow. Mm. Anyway. That cop was spectacular. And yeah, you know, he got, you know, he got some yeah. big balls, honey. He's New York's finest. But finest. he could pull, but he could pull out like, you know, a, you know, a fat four. Fat and a chode. Is that code for something? A chode, like four inches, but fat. Oh. Fat, like a, like a cork. Like a and zapper. Honey, yeah, honey. and you would be like, I'm going to make this work. It's going to give me a headache. But I'm it's a, a, it. a cork. <laughs> Let's just honey. do it. Yeah. Honey, you better take that cork and plug up this here jug. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. Are you going to make yeah. me feel like you're plugging up my box Ooh. wine? Let's get That's to some police right. corruption. Every, every, time he, every time he pulls it out, you go... And that brings us to the segment we like to call Just the Facts. Remember that episode of Facts of Life when Mrs. Garrett got caught stealing? Yes. yes. I, I do I want to say that on today's episode, we are going to cover uh, the ep episode of Facts of Life entitled Gamma, Gamma, or Bust. Mm. It aired September 28th of 1983. It was uh, episode three, season five, directed by Asad Kalada, who directed a great many of the episodes of The Facts of Life. And he transitioned later in life and came Pina Colada. Miss Pina Colada. But I'm thanks. Right. 
Still worked as a director, of course. Talk about the facts of life. No, but anyway. then he decided to change his race because you know how like some people will like they change their race mm -hmm. and right. he decided to become Latin and now he's Pinga Colada. Miss Pinga Colada, darling. Miss Pinga Colada. Yes, it's tasty. But then he went black and he been changing into a lot of colada. To a lot, a lot of colada, honey. Honey, what? Yeah. So um, anyway, so Miss Alada Colada directed this episode. <laughs> and by this point in the series, the girls have moved, moved out of the dorms at Eastland. I think Move. Natalie... Move. Move, darling. <laughs> Mrs. Garrett has opened Edna's edibles. Natalie and Tootie, I think, are still going to Eastland and just working in the shop. And no, but they're living under her roof. They're living right. under, in the under, attic in the same in the same building as Edna's Edimals and right. Joe as well. But right. uh, Blair has moved into the dorms because she's attending college and she's Blair. trying to get she's trying to get into a sorority because she's and going so, to Langley. She's going uh, to whatever college that is that, that she's going to. Right. And uh, but I will say she walks in with her sorority sister who happens to be eighties phenom oh Miss Jamie Gertz. Who happens? Fuck me. Sorry, that might be her on the phone. That. Is that Jamie that, Gertz? Oh, what irony! Uh, you know she's Jamie the richest, richest uh, actress in Hollywood Which right now. About to mention, she's worth eight billion billion dollars. She's wow. half owner of the Seattle Sooners because she married Tony Wrestler, who is a multi multi billionaire, and they own the Seattle Seahawks together. She is filthy, filthy rich, like what a billionaire. A if billionaire. you look on Google, the richest actress in Hollywood, it, her name comes. What up. is Seattle Seahawk? It's a the it's Seattle a, it's Seahawks. A, it's a sports is a, team. It's a Myrna. sports team. Oh, I yes. think the Seahawks are. I'm going to embarrass myself. They're a basketball team, maybe, uh, or a football team. I don't know, Some but I know it's a big. Yeah, but let me tell you something. Yeah. She married well, but let me tell you: Lost Boys, Twister, Square Pegs. Miss Jamie Gertz had a career, and she square was, peg, a, she was peg, a good, she was a good square. actress. She's worth eight billion. Darling, so mm -hmm. we, we've jumped we've jumped ahead a bit, and Miss Edna has opened her edibles. Right, she's opened her edibles. Also, I don't know if we've established this before on Charlotte Ray. That's a wig, right? We don't okay. know if Charlotte Ray is wearing a wig or not. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ask James Mansfield. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna ask her if which, if James thinks, could look at it and he'll know. Hello, Mike Matinga and Booby. It's I, James Mansfield, hair expert, here to give my honest opinion on what is Mrs. Garrett's hair. Now, I know the debate is, is it human, synthetic, or both? Well, I'm inclined to put my hat in this race and say, I think it's a mixture of two. I think it's her real hair up front, and I think that bun in the back is a phony, all right? I'm pretty sure it's a stick-on, especially in the later seasons, okay? The hair gets very, very suspicious in those later seasons when she has it up in the updo and everything. I don't think it's all her hair. Charlotte Ray, I'm on to you. Well, she's dead, so I can't really be on to her. But if she were alive, I'd be on to her. Anyways, back to your video. So Blair is trying to get into Gamma Gamma sorority because uh, she is not feeling living in the dorms for whatever reason. And here she comes with Miss Boots, Miss Jamie Gertz, who's wearing knee-high socks, a sweater tied around her neck a la early 80s preppy style. Yes. And some kind of like horsey little plaid skirt thing. Like yes, what, all what the is... Gamma Gammas wear kilt-type skirts. That's right. their thing. It's bizarre. That's their stick. And she's right. also, uh, she's all, they're, they're telegraphing that both her and Blair come from money and they're being very shushy, shushy, oh, 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 oh. La, 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 right. kind of very douchey <laughs> and, and very, <laughs> right. Because when you walk uh, into Edna's Edibles, right. you don't ring the bell, you go, <laughs> and here comes Miss Garrett. If you don't come in going, <laughs> you're going to leave going, <laughs> you don't get no after service. The, after you the Edibles. Get, yeah. And uh, Miss Booby, did you watch this episode? I sure did. Okay, girl, because you're being real quiet. No, I'm about letting y'all carry on because you know I, 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 you know I'm, I'm like it's the Lord's Day, Mark Myrna. The Lord's Day, honey, it Lord is. Vader. Also Mother's Day. We're you know trying to keep it ah, timeless, but yes. it is Mother's Day. So happy, yeah. happy uh, Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, both gay and straight. I will Turn say that I, I'm a mother, mother out. out. I will say that I'm a mother of a house and none of my children wish me a happy Mother's Day today. So whatever. I mean, it's Cause maybe you're a them. bad mother. I am. I'm a bad, bad mother from out of space. Mother. You a bad mamma jamma. 
Oh, hey, right. okay, for the Little Shop reference. So as it turned, I love Little Shop. Saw Little Shop last week with Jinx Starring. being so Think fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. So good. And also Jinx is on uh, um, Doctor, Doctor Who. Oh, that Who? What? oh yeah. Doctor Who, yeah. So she's, she's doing her thing. as uh, She's playing mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. The maestro. Um, I don't watch Doctor Who. I mean, no, they do I, I but we one of Doctor our fans Who, does, Miss Tony. Doctor Who, and I do live. I mean, that's not true. I watched Doctor Who, but like in the seventies when it was like the guy with the frizzy, like white boy fro. I like Who, that's the Who. Yes, like that's the Who I remember, and that's the only Who I ever watched. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, apparently it's incredible now. It's incredible. Yeah. But anyway, so what's going on is that Gamma Gamma is having their rush party and and, and they don't be poppers. Ah, yeah. I, went, yeah. I went there too. Hello. Correct. And they lost their original caterer because he did some seafood thing and everybody got so main. So with one day's notice, one day's notice, uh, they bring the task to Mrs. Garrett for only two hundred dollars, and I have to say, in, and that they they negotiate for three hundred, right. but even three hundred in nineteen eighty three, even in nineteen eighty three, that does not sound like enough. Oh, all right, three hundred. We just won't buy any knee socks this week. <laughs> they lost their first caterer because it was nineteen eighty three. They lost him to the emerging AIDS crisis. <laughs> Ooh, they thought it was too many. girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that out. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or leave it in. <laughs> anyway. Um, and, yeah, like $300. Uh, is that $300 paying for the food and everything? The food, everything, the help, everything. Everything, yes. everything. Yeah. And to me, it, 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 to, it, to me, it sounded like a low ball. 200 particularly. $300 in 1983 is worth over, is almost 1000 today. And they're gonna feed nine hundred forty a, a bunch of sorority hoes a, with a, a, nine hundred forty dollars. Sorority, they party. got coins. They got coins. A sorority party. Yeah, so it's whatever. Not like she ain't got but, coins. But Jamie Miss, Garrett, you know. Mrs. Yeah. Garrett is up to the task, of course, right. and she's happy for the gig. Right, right. Blair right. kind of stay. makes makes it happen, but there's also yeah. Boots is sure to let her know if this doesn't go well, you're gonna be blackballed. Right, you know, it, has, you get to, into it gamma. has to go well, but also, you know, you're giving her 24 hours to do this. So, like, really, Mrs. Garrett is doing her a favor because, like, you know, you've got to buy ingredients, you got to buy stuff, you only got it 24 right. hours. So, like, yes, it was a, a, a boon to Edna's edibles, but at the same time, she's doing Blair a favor by doing this because the mm -hmm. original caterer is, you know. Out of the picture, and Joe right. is so excited. Like, house. Well, if, if we can make three hundred dollars from this, we right, can make more coins from the other sororities and fraternities, right. And she's like, you know, future tripping, like how much coins you're going to make? Future tripping, yes. I like that. I like mm -hmm. it. And Natalie and Tootie are just excited that they're going to get to see the inside of a sorority house. Right. But I think generally across the board, none of them are featuring Miss Boots. They're like, get well, a load of this Miss, bitch. Miss Boots in her grinder profile was like, no fats, femmes, or blacks. Hello. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and, not, and not for nothing, but Miss Tootie is, she's not, she's, what's the word I'm looking for? The decolletage is, whoa. Her, that's like, what I, I was saying. Okay. She got her boobies. Like the boobies came in like, Darling. whoa, girl. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. supposedly, kind of supposedly, what, where am I? Where am I remembering that she had to, you know, uh, as they were developing at one point during the show, they had, they told her to tie to it tie down, down because yeah. no. it was too much. You're thinking of Princess Leia in Star Wars, that they really? made her tape, they made her tape her titties up. Cause her, she was little, her little two fried eggs, why? Because she was serving nip. And apparently, oh. you know, there's no underwear in space. Oh. What about Tootie? Uh, what about Tootie? She was never in outer space. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Hello. I'm sure so, she was carrying at some point in the studio. So before. regardless. Um, irregardless. Irregardless. So, you know, everyone's happy. There's going to be this catering gig. Right. And then cut to the next day. Everyone's Mrs. Garrett. No, no. It's not even the next day. It's like maybe six hours later. Maybe it's this was the oh. morning. And now it's the afternoon. Oh, you're and, right. Okay. Yep, and, right. and Blair comes in. And uh, the girls have started preparations right. for the evening. And the Mrs. Food. Garrett has settled on what I thought was a lovely choice, which was a Mexican 
uh, little soiree, a Mexican right. food. And but Ms. where is she getting these recipes? She's from getting a from celebrity, celebrity cookbooks. Celebrity cookbooks. Where'd you find the enchilada recipe? Oh, it's from the celebrity cookbook. Authentic recipes from the kitchens of the stars. Uh, wait a minute. My enchiladas by Don Ho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hawaiian enchiladas. Don't be so narrow-minded. You know those great matzo balls I make. Thank Charo. And Blair, like in her typical fashion, throws a hissy. Why did you? Very Ask rich me. white girl. Enchiladas, tacos, refried bean. I don't know why you went off and made enchiladas. I didn't hire you to cater a bullfight. <laughs> but the thing is, though, Mrs. Garrett should have asked her. Of course. What the menu should be. I that agree. is true. I, like, I don't like the way Blair dealt with it because, honey, Mrs. Garrett raised you under her roof. That's the reason like your that mama. you The reason that you stayed at Eastland was because Mrs. Garrett saved your asked not just once or twice or three times but a bunch of times she's like loved you like a parent and so yeah miss she, like it's unprofessional she should have asked her but also like you've got 24 hours we've got to get this moving on and so miss uh so miss Garrett just all jumped upset. In. and blair just wants she wants something that was trendy at the time which is apparently chinese food was trendy Ooh. at the time or quran What's wrong with Mexican food? Mexican food was the chic thing to serve last month. Nobody's eating it this month. Uh, Don Ho is. <laughs> Mrs. Garrett, I wanted Chinese food for the party. Don't worry, Blair. This food is great for picking out. And it's nutritious, too. If the Gamma Gamma girls wanted nutrients, they would have asked for chewable Flintstones. <laughs> Blair, calm down. Well, you know they ain't got no Chinese people up in where they live. No. Exactly. Oh, maybe that's why it was so trendy. Right. And, uh, Blair and clearly throws, they don't have Mexicans uh, either. Uh, and Blair throws a hissy, like a yeah. real hissy that like, like that hissy would have hurt my feelings too. Especially like, how could you, how could you fire Miss Garrett? You don't have to give me orders. I've been at this a long time, you know? You've been a nutritionist for a long time, not a caterer. And when I hired you, I wanted a caterer. Blair! What am I going to tell Bootsy? I'll never get into Gamma Gamma. Are you saying you're sorry you hired me? Of course I'm sorry I hired you. How could you do this to me? Well, throwing a tantrum isn't going to help. Well, then maybe this will. You're fired. Fine! Bitch, <laughs> why are you mad? <laughs> believe what you just did Blair you just fired Mrs. Garrett she's gonna lose money on the in the ingredients she bought and you know what you're just being a bitch like girl you you could have you could have she should have asked you what you wanted but at the same time trust her trust her or, you or gave her 24 like, hours or just tell her on your way out to buy knee socks you know what I think I'd like Chinese food catch you later but yeah. she didn't say anything. Or, like, she, or say, could we do Mexican and Chinese? Chino Latino. Chino Latino. I do love Chino Latino. Yeah. Pinga colada. Yeah. Chinese, Pinga colada. I love it. Love yeah. it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Colada. So they have of, a big purple. blowout. They have a big blowout. And Tootie tries to sort of be a peacemaker. Does not go well. Makes it, makes worse. it worse. Makes it worse. And so, but then they decide, you know, Tootie and Natalie and Joe decide, you know what? Fuck we Mrs. Garrett this. and fuck Blair. We're going to make that money, and we're just going to say Mrs. Garrett did this food, but we're going to no. do it. We're going to make some no. Chinese food. Yes, girl? No. No. They decide to make the Chinese meal themselves in order to save the event and Mrs. Garrett. And, and you know, in, in, in hopes, but, the, but unfortunately, the girls, you know, Ain't got no skills. Fun. We catered the party. It's a success. Mrs. Garrett gets paid. Blair gets into Gamma Gamma, they make up, and all's right with the world. Or, we cater the party, it stinks, <laughs> Mrs. G never works again, Blair's blackballed, and you disappear off the face of the earth. <laughs> Why are you two being so gloomy? We followed all the Chinese recipes in Mrs. Garrett's cookbook. But we had to substitute ingredients. I'm sorry, you cannot make sweet and sour sauce out of vinegar and Ovaltine. And also, you know, when you're doing something in someone's name, 
you're putting their reputation on the line, not yours. So if you, you know, if you put shit on the table, if you take a shit on the coffee table, like it, it's going to smell like Edna Gary. It's, sure not gonna, it's not going to smell like Tootie. So like <laughs> the girls made a bad mistake too. Yeah. Like no girl. And the food that they came up with looked quite Ovaltine tired. and what? It was like, sweet, like and sour. sweet and sour oval teen chicken. So no, it was Mr. In, T's fried rice. Instead yeah. of sweet and sour sauce, they mix vinegar with oval teen. Yes. Which yes. like which I thought was a really stupid thing because these are not dumb girls. Like right. they're, they're gonna not know dumb that girls. That's gonna be just like sour chocolate ish. Right. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe they, they were trying to go for a mole type thing because they originally started with Mexican, Mexican food. Did they but, trash yeah. all the Mexican food, or did no? Or they just finally just eat it. They reused it. They they eat, repurposed eat the it. dog food, bitch. They repurposed eat it. it. And all of, by the way, all Mrs. Of, Garrett in the refrigerator. <laughs> missed up, and the, all Tootie's prompting. This is yeah, right. she she messes it up further with Mrs. Garrett. She's like, oh, let's we're, we're just gonna cook. La, mm. la, 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 la. And so that like they get to the party and the girls are like, mm, this didn't mm-hmm. come out good mm-hmm. at all. What's gonna but happen? They're, they're, they're trying to like hide bad Chinese food. But it was all bad Chinese food, and nothing was in the front of the table. It was shady. And then they were like, let's use a different tactic. Let's hide. Let's stand in front of the table so they can't see the food. Ain't gonna right. work. And then bitches was like hungry bitches. They come and yeah, I'm home. Now, mind bitch. you, Blair's being a stuck up bitch, and I'm kind of like, whatever with you, girl. Like, if you don't get into your you favorite get what story, you get. whatever with you, girl. But right. also, like, if you provide bad food that other people paid for, that's messed up. Shady. But that's, also, that's how Puerto Rican. That- how yeah, fab that's not Puerto this? Rican. That is not Puerto Rican. Miss <laughs> Booby, you're determined to offend everyone today, and I'm here for <laughs> it. Equal opportunity Trans offended, Marina. People, people of color, midgets. Yeah. yeah. Trans, yeah. Midgets. Did anybody <laughs> talk about no midgets, girl? No, little people, little people. Little people. About midgets. They're, they're called Lil Wayne. Anyway. Lil Wayne. <laughs> so, um, also, Gamma, Gamma, Gamma. They can't be that fab because that little sorority house looked like shit. Looked tired. Yeah. And this was supposed to be like the the fierce, honey. The shit. Um, so the sorority girls come in, not a looker in the bunch. Love what you've done with the furniture. The upholstery really works. And would you believe that it's water resistant? Oh, I like that in a couch. <laughs> No. But Except yeah. for Jamie, uh, Jamie Lovely. Well, yes, Larry. I'm talking about the non-speaking ones. Yes. Looking ugly. Every one of these college girls looking like they're 52 years old. Okay. Yes. Filler. Filler. Very 27. Filler. Filler. I don't even know her. Yeah. But up bum but up wow. Yeah. And so they go to eat this fucking Chinese food. But first, but first, somehow Mrs. Garrett intuits because right. she has raised these girls That's and right. she must have walked into the kitchen. She's like, y'all been smoking some dark crystal? And she intuits that the <laughs> girls cooked anyway. And she runs over to the sorority house and I think very, you know, importantly says, hey, this is my name. Mm-hmm. You're, you know, you can't just cook and put my name to it Mm-mm. because that this is my reputation. This We're just starting my out house here. And I am the lioness. And so she's like, did it, you know, she's like, how did it come out? And the girls are like, well, 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 well it came out. Uh. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. So they start eating this food and Blair <laughs> is thinking everything's going great. Mrs. Garrett bent to her will and made Chinese food. But Mrs. Garrett's like, bitch, I didn't make this motherfucking food. I didn't make this food. And I'm going to spill the tea. So how about that? Catch me yep. outside. Okay. Catch me outside. And so Blair reaches up and snatches that gilda off Charlotte Ray's head. A, a fight ensues, girl. Ooh, when honey. you eat edibles, honey. <laughs> honey, gamma, gamma, gamma. So a bitch got her teeth like, like knocked out. Now she's gumma, yeah. gumma, gumma. Gumma, 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 darling. She's gummo, honey. I charge extra honey, for the gumma, gumma, gumma. It's going to be spaghetti in the bathtub. Honey, none, gumma, none gumma, gumma. Take it, honey. Gumma chameleon. Spaghetti yes. in the bathtub. You never saw gummo? <laughs> Willow? You, did you ever see Willow the movie gummo? Oh, Gummo. Gummo. Oh. Where he's eating the spaghetti in the dirty is the, bathtub is water. Is that where somebody sells Madonna's pap, um, pap smear? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, anyway. <laughs> we're movie. off We're off track. So, God. Yeah. 
So, so, but they're hoping that the food is going to turn out okay. And, and, you know, and at first it seems there's a little misdirect where it's like, oh, it seems to be going okay because Mrs. Garrett and Blair are talking <laughs> about it, but they, but they're like, okay, let's just see what happens. And, and then right course, behind Jamie, them, one of those sorority girls munching on a spare rib just shits her pants right there. <laughs> right there, explosive. It was really, honey, for 1983 TV? No, Ooh. honey. Ooh, a very yeah. special episode, girl. And of course, Miss uh, Miss Jamie Gertz, Miss Blair St. Clair, not Miss Blair St. Clair, with Bootsy, Bootsy yeah. St. Clair, <laughs> turns around and she's like, uh, this is trash. Can it, one or the food stinks. Yeah. And of, and of course it's trash. And Mrs. Garrett, of course, throws out the lovely, uh, but you know, last week when I did uh, Calvin Klein's party, they Gag. loved my my nouveau riche Chinese. Da -da -da. Like, oh, you did, you did, uh, you did Miss Honey and you did mm -hmm. this star and that star. And like, be and because they're so bullshit and because they're so up their own asses and it's about money, since rich people liked it, they're like, oh yeah, like this ain't bad. Right. And she's able to smooth it over, which right. I, which I thought was like kind of perfect for the douchebaggery yeah. that mm -hmm. was this entire episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, yes, Miss Garrett, work that. But you know what? But look at Jamie Gertz in that entire scene. She doesn't believe it for a second. At not all. Second. She's not believing it at all. The other girls are like starting to chow down now. Ooh, They're like, oh, Jack Jackie Onassis Jack like this? Oh, I'm going to eat this, honey. And remember, it's all contingent on Blair becoming a gamma gamma gamma. It's gamma, gamma. rush week. So, right. you know, that's why Blair wanted this meal to come out so well, because she wanted to be uh, in gamma gamma gamma. She's desperate to be in this house. And they're back at Edna's Edibles talking about how they pulled the wool over Jamie's billionaire eyes. And uh, here, well, here comes Bootsy with some news. Um, turns out Blair got elected into Gamma Gamma Gamma. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like super excited for her and Blair is super, super happy. And then Bootsy spills the tea of how Blair got in. It wasn't because of this make right. it or break it Chinese feast. No. It was because of yeah. two of these big titties. Everybody was like, yo, fuck her <laughs> out. We need to be friends with this girl and her crowd. Who's the honey. who's the sweet honey over the sweet who's honey badger sweet? over there with the big tits? Who's the honey badger, darling? You mean even after that fiasco, you elected me? Of course. Your mother was a gamma gamma, and so is your grandmother. You're a legacy. We're talking automatic election. What? That's right. Strictly formality time. You mean you led me on all week? You made me agonize over the election for nothing? Isn't that a hoot? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see you back at the clubhouse. Your initiation cloak and candle will be waiting for you. Toodaloo! So whether or not the Chinese food was tasty or not, or it was Mexican or whatever, she was going to get in. And Blair is kind of plucked. Yeah, I would be too. She yeah. wanted to, to jump get in through hoops. In her, under her own, you know... Tiredness. Her own reason, tiredness, violation, yeah. whatever. She, yeah. wanted to, she wanted them to want her for her. Uh, so and but she was just gonna get in no matter what, and, don't and it we turns all, her off. Don't mm -hmm. we all want someone to want us for us? I mean, listen, yeah. not you for our Chinese food or our big tetas. Well, why Although not? I both? do make I make a mean fried <laughs> rice. I really I do. do actually. I do got those lovely tetas. tetas. Yeah, yeah, right. Hmm. Um, but you know, whether you are legacy <laughs> or an up and coming children, you right. know, gamma gamma or bust, Blair is like not happy with this outcome. And she's like, fuck those hoes. I guess I'm going to have to live in the dorm. Okay. Well, I'm going to start my own house, Gamma Gamma Ganza. Gamma Gamma Ganza. Gamma Gamma Ganza. Oh, Extra I love Gamma. it. Gamma. Extra Gamma. Gamma Gamma Extra Gamma Ganza. <laughs> can you? Chop. And so basically yeah. what she's saying is, can I come live with you lesbians up here in Edna's Edibles? Correct. Right. And she moves back in with the girls. Oh, and she yeah. remains there. Until the end of the series, all the girls remain there. Even yeah. though Edna's Edibles becomes goes from like a like, baking place to like a little, like a, a it's a called like shop. it's called like over like our a heads, tchotchke, a tchotchke place. yeah, a tchotchke place, and it, it well, has that, different different iterations. Yeah, what was that place that was in the East Village that was futuristic stuff, little tchotchke futuristic things? They used to have like music that oh. was like space music. Was it called Star and, Magic? Yes. 
Star Magic. I used to oh, live for that place. Love that place. Love I it. don't know why I could never afford it. I, you know, Star I wasn't Magic. necessarily in the greatest financial yeah. place in my life. But you could have. Love saves the day. Yeah, but we were going there after Glennies. Like if mm. we went, walked over to the East Village and Kiki at Star Magic. Mm. At Star Magic. Is she there? Yes. She's still there. No, no, right? No, Keep now on. it's like a it's like a just salads or a Chipotle or something. Or and something Astor like Place that. Um, Barbershop, no longer there, correct? Also think, gone, I'm pretty sure. Is it? I think that might still be there. Could it still be there? I don't that know. would be amazing. I used to go there to get my hair cut all the time. Me too. Me too. After like, disasters? Yeah. When way I had hair. Way back then. Yeah, after Hello. disaster. And the cheap, they, they were cheap and they were good. Yeah. Haircuts. Two things That's we like. about my blowjobs. Hey. Gamma, gamma, gamma. Gama 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 ganza. Gama 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 Honey, I'll give he you a gama gama. He gums He was he gums a my hole. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sponsored go by Quay Loops. Go, and that go was, Antoine. That was gama gama or bust, basically. And I, that I was... As gama these gama gama go, on Gullah Gullah Island. Yes, girl. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. Yeah. I like it made me feel stuff. Like I got angry yeah. at Blair. Yeah. And I yes. like and I, I gagged at Susie Kurtz. So like worth a watch. Not one Swoozie of the Kurtz. best. Not Swoozie Kurtz. I'm sorry. Jamie Gertz. Jamie, Jamie Gertz. Gertz. But you know what? <laughs> but Swoozie Same Kurtz, shit. I'll take it. Same I love Miss Swoozie yeah. Kurtz. I mm-hmm. live. So as so not a bad episode, not a great one, but I would say it's middle of the road. Like I was like, okay, it was it was this one was fine. Mm-hmm. I would say it was it was fine. I I liked it because I think Blair got to show her really nasty side, which is which she does well. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, and she said something like her dad always said you have to put labor in their place or something real stink like that. Like just like super conservative Republican asshole talking point kind of thing. It's mm-hmm. very that feeling. Yeah, it's like well, why don't you go to a gravel pit and shoot your dog, Blair? Like we're not oh. we're not, we're not having it. We're not feeling it, girl. No. But isn't it? But isn't it funny that uh, because she is giving that vibe and say mm-hmm. someone like a like an Alex P. Keaton in mm-hmm. uh, Family Types also mm-hmm. giving that very conservative Republican vibe. But like you could still love them back then. Like you. Could, well, because like, he's got a penis. Hate- <laughs> but imagine shaking Alex P. Keaton's penis. That'd be cute. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, it's probably not that big. I have a feeling he's like not hanging. But uh, it but would the, be shaking. The, but Trust the thing me. is, is we can't. Oh, Miss Boo, Ooh, you're being <laughs> awful today. Where are you come? What happened to you? I don't know what happened, girl. Ms. I'm Boo? in pain. My shoulder hurt. It's sober, sexy, out. and shady. Sober, <laughs> sexy, and shady. Sober, sexy, and shady. We need that. T- we need the that truth t-shirt. hurt, baby. The truth hurt. My yes. shoulder gonna hurt, and the truth is gonna hurt. That's right. That's right. So mm. yeah, so that's 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 gumma gumma gala <laughs> island or bust. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah. Mm. That was fun. Is this episode did. almost over? Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> why, Miss? Why, Miss Booby? Who do you have to go insult? I think Miss Booby shoulder hurts. I gotta hurts. take a nap, girl. I'm you getting sure old. do. I need my nap. Okay. Well, on that <laughs> note. On that note, but thank you, you know. for tuning in to So Auntie Ways. Yeah. Thank you, children. Yeah. It was Coming fabulous. Forth. Links and whatnot in the description below. It's always such a pleasure. We do it for you. This is Shadiamond. Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. And this is Shady Booby. Auntie Ways. Auntie Ways. See you like Charles Nelson Riley. Let him do his thing, girl. Okay, Miss Booby, you need to go take your nap. Oh, my Aye, back mama. hurts. My back hurts so bad. And my pussy and my crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down. Down. And I'm sweaty. Can you see how sweaty I am? What I you do. need is what you need is quailubes. What you need is quailubes. Do some quailube lovely. <laughs>